Hi y'all, Logan here with another video. Today, I got something cool to show you. This is the new for 2022 6.5 foot animated faceless scarecrow made by Techie. This is actually a very interesting animatronic that I really wanna get in here and just discuss with you. So, for a while I was a little confused on why he was called the Faceless Scarecrow because he very much has a face. And then I realized, this is not painted on the burlap. This is on the face beneath the burlap and it's actually supposed to be invisible. You're not supposed to be able to see that. The burlap is just thin enough where you can see it. So, what it's supposed to do is when his face lights up, it reveals this really cool, gnarly face underneath. You see it on the, on the box. And it looks just super dope. This is a really cool prop, I really have to say. So, this is kind of like Inferno Scarecrow 2.0, but not really 2.0, if that makes sense. Like, the animation, I feel like, is a little better than Inferno Scarecrow. But, like, he doesn't have, like, the really cool sculpt that Inferno Scarecrow has. You know? So, if you remember, Inferno Scarecrow had one arm that would swing, like, that would swoop, like, try to grab you. Well, this one, both of his arms snap forward like he's trying to grab you. It's like, um, what's it? Looming Straw Man. It's very reminiscent of him. It's like Looming Straw Man 2.0, but he's, like, way faster, he's spring-loaded, and he's a lot scarier. Additionally, he does, again, have that gimmick where his face lights up and it reveals this really scary, terrifying face from beneath. And it's really, really neat. So, he's built pretty much like Inferno. Um, with him being kind of on a pole, like he's on a post. He also kind of reminds me of Lantern Scarecrow with him having this really soft felt jacket right here, which is, I mean, it's very soft. And then, I'm trying to think, sorry. I just woke up, so my brain's still warming up. Oh, and then having him having that exposed rib cage, which again, Inferno had, which I keep calling him Inferno, it's really Flaming Scarecrow, but one of the same. I have Flaming Scarecrow, I don't have Inferno. One thing I really like is the dense, like, straw they had on the bottom of his body, and then, you know, all the straw on his arms. So that, was stuff, that was definitely my biggest complaint with the Lantern Scarecrow, is I feel like there was no straw towards the bottom of his body. And with my customization, though I did not go as crazy as Techie did with this, I added a little, like, some strands, like he was more rotted and decayed. This is what I would like to see on their Scarecrows when they have them hung up on posts like this. I think this looks really good. Overall, though, I think this is a really good animatronic. One thing, though, that it really falls flat on is it has the flaming Touch Inferno Scarecrow's audio. I feel like they had the opportunity to give him totally new audio, make him kind of his own character, and they didn't do that, which bugs me quite a bit, actually. I don't like having two animatronics that have the same audio, so with this one, I'm just going to mute him on Halloween, meaning that he's going to be completely silent and just suddenly grab at you, which is going to be terrifying. But again, like this is such a really cool scarecrow. You know, I love the I love the gimmick with the face and again the face beneath. Look at that. And I will demonstrate him too for you guys, don't worry. This is just the easiest way to show it when not constantly turning him on. Additionally, what's really interesting is like this is the prototype right here. And you see like just how cinched his jacket is. And even here I was a circular base, and that is I'm trying to see if I can find him on, on the box. It does actually show him, yeah, right there, on a circular base, too. So this is how you know that's a prototype, because this one actually has square base. Neat. And another thing that's really nice with this animatronic is when you get him, he also includes a ground stake, which, lifesaver, because I use ground stakes on my lawn religiously. I don't know about you guys, but if I have an animatronic out of my yard, I have to have it secured to the ground. I have rough terrain and high winds on October. So, I gotta weigh these down or I have to stake them down. He actually includes a metal yard stake, which is perfect. Especially for those of us who have really rough terrain. 
It also helps because he has very violent and quick motion. So we don't have to worry about him just tumbling right over. Almost all of my scarecrows have very quick and violent motions. So knowing that this one comes with a stake, it makes it a lot easier on me to display him. And I, it's good on you, Home Depot. So unlike the uh, Flaming Inferno Scarecrows that went for a blue, just a flat 100, this one is 130. 130, 120. You got, you got a bit of a high cut. And I definitely justify that with the dual arm movement and then the added gimmick of the head and actually how detailed it is beneath. I also have to give credit where credit's due, again, for the nice material on the jacket. And the assembly was actually pretty simple. They also added these new types of stamp locks, if I can actually show them. And the arms. Here it is. Where it makes removal so much easier. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm trying to disassemble animatronic, I tend to bruise my fingers post-Halloween pressing really hard and trying to get all the snap locks off. Well, Teke said, you know what? We're going to find a solution to that. And that was the perfect solution. Thank God. Uh, the arms, though, I mean, they do have the poles in them. I do wish that they were a little more poseable because this one keeps, like, sagging in a really weird way. It's just um, foam. They get foam filling. Oh, I think I just got it. <laughs> Lucky me. It's always the videos that get them to look good. Uh, one thing, though, is I wish the tatter looked a little better. I might go through and distress it myself. with a. If you want to know how to do a really good... Um, oh, that's right. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by that weird sound. If you want to know how to do a proper distressing, like with these triangular tatters, it's literally a serrated blade, and you just drag it. Run it through there a couple times, and it, it shreds it, and it looks phenomenal. I did that with my Lantern Scarecrow, and he looks great. So, um, also, one more thing I want to mention is, it does say you can only take a 6-volt um, adapter, which I've never seen a Techie animatronic have that like disclaimer on it before. I thought that was pretty interesting that they had to specify that. I'm assuming it's because of that quick motion. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and plug him in and I'll show you guys him in action. I'm gonna set my phone down and over in the dark. But not anymore. There are creatures hiding in the fields. Time to run. I hear them coming. and terrifying, right? <laughs> Those arms come down quick, too. Like, it's so, it's just so scary. There are creatures hiding in the fields. Time to run. I hear them coming. <laughs> yeah, he is such a cool animatronic. This is definitely one of those where if you want a really cool, like, jump scare animatronic, I would totally go for this one. Absolutely. Again, that jump scare, like the arm snapping down, it's so quick and violent. It's a really effective scare. And, I, and the face reveal and just the face itself, it looks really good. I really like this animatronic. Again, I just wish it had his own original audio, but that's really my only major complaint with this overall i see this is a really cool animatronic techie always kills it with the scarecrows and this is definitely like one of the coolest scarecrows that they have done in a while i really gotta say this is like inferno but has a little more you know it doesn't have the, that really cool flaming head 
but it's got a dual arm movement, which I really like, and it's super quick. It's got a really neat reveal mechanic, which I also think is really cool. The arms are just so quick, too. I it, This is like, it has what I wish Looming Straw Man had, essentially. But, you know, we can't always have what we want, right, guys? But yeah, this is such a great, this is just such a cool animatronic. I really like it. But yeah, that is my review on the Faceless Scarecrow. Overall, I highly recommend this animatronic. If you want like a really cool scarecrow, you got it right here. Also, additionally, the ribs are UV reactive. So I know it's not intentional, but if you look at my demo video, you see them glowing really bright under that UV light that I had shining over everything. So just a cool little tidbit I want to add there. Anyway, guys, that is all for me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.